Hi, welcome back. Uh, continuing on our Carrie Stevens style streamer. Uh, so this is Cast Blanca, uh, but this is a winging tutorial as such. So I have my throat on uh, and I'm going to put on our wing. Now the Cast Blanca has a three part head, a red, white and blue. So I'm going to change over now onto white thread. Uh, ordinarily I'd have tied the fly, if it was your standard sort of with a black, with a red bar, I would have tied the fly in black and then put my red bar on it, but the, because there's a white bar in this one it wouldn't show through I don't think. Uh, once you go to varnish, if we decide to put a white bar over a red head or over a blue head or something like that there I don't think it would show through well. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put on like a support for the top part of the wing. Uh, so I'm going to take a white slap in here and look for a biggish one if I can. And uh, I'm going to put a bunch of that on as like a roof. And uh, that just sort of helps to support the wing but it also helps uh, for the colour and the transition of the top shape of the, of the first bit of your wing. Hard to explain. So I'm going to take a, a bunch matching from each side of my slab and feather. Put the two sides together and then I'm going to put it on like a wing over the top of this. Pinch and loop. And this will actually be hidden by the wing, but it'll kind of join in shape wise at, the, at this end of it here. Uh, so it helps to avoid steps. Okay. And the, the red bit of the collar that I wrapped is also helping to support this a little bit. As I said, ordinarily you may have pulled that off, but it won't be seen because of this. So, um, generally we're using a saddle hackles, but I actually have a preference for a cape because of, I think the feathers have a slightly better shape, and especially if you're tying a big fly. Um, the feathers for uh, of of a good quality uh, saddle cape can often be quite perpendicular here. I find, and then it's difficult-ish to get you a a shape as such. So uh, I'm going to employ the use of some standard Chinese neck capes. So what I would do is I would pick, also the thing about these is because they're sort of symmetrical, you can pick you know, two feathers out of here and two feathers. Okay, so uh, wings on one of these streamers. So you may have seen me in other videos mounting them on top. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how uh, to put them together and mount them on the side this time. So I, I have the wings for this one already made. I, what I'm going to do is make the wings for the next fly with Tim Tyne, which is the Colonel Bates. So if I take my matched center feathers basically for the next wing, and I'll sort of measure them up for the length that I'll roughly be going at on it. Um, put them two together match up the tips and the tips are beside I'll measure it at the length roughly that I want and then I'll pinch that and when I have it pinched here then I'll rip off uh, the feathers. Now what the effect that this has in that I'm pulling both bunches off uh, one from each feather at the same time is that both feathers will then be stripped to the identical length so that when it comes to tie it in 
if I tie them in at the same point on each one then they'll be equal. So um, I was reading a bit about the other night and I, th I think uh, Carrie actually well, they varnished the wing sets together but that she may have even varnished them on rather than tying them on in certain ones. Uh, so if I take these two this is my far wing, this is my near wing. If I want to create uh, basically the two feathered wing, I'm going to put a white one on the outside. It's the one that, that the fly we're about to tie has two white feathers, so at least you'll see the contrast and difference with the uh, different colours here. So uh, I'm going to stick them together. Now you could use sticky varnish, like an old varnish. Um, what I'm actually going to use is this stuff, which is uh, Evo Stick Serious Glue. And uh, it remains a little bit flexible, but it's a very strong glue, and it sets fairly quickly. So if I take that, and I just uh, put it on, I'm going to take the fly out of the road here for you. So if I take my feather, and on the outside surface of it, I'm just going to put a little blob of glue, varnish, whatever you're going to use just right here and then I'll take my other wing feather and I'm just going to set it on the two together I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a pinch and if you look you'll see that the glue has sort of Going a little bit into the fibers on each side. So I'm just going to wet my fingertips and just press that flat. And I'm happy with the shape of that. What I'll do is uh, set aside now. What you can do is you can change. The alignment of the uh, of the stalks. So the white one is sitting slightly low on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the angle of it to set it up a little bit more, so that it will ride up hopefully and hold the. So that is our wing mount made, and what we'll do then is I'll set that off to the side to dry, and I'll make the other one. I'll take my white feather, the yellow one that I'd already measured to be the same length as the first one. Little blob of glue. Set the two together. little squeeze and then we'll set that one aside as well to dry so the added effect of the little bit of glue coming out either side into it means that when you tie it in uh, it tends not to rotate so I suppose that's a, an added advantage of of making wings in, in this kind of style so, have wings made from the two white ones for our fly here. So here are our two sets, and they've you can see set in there. What I'll do is I'll set that up on the side of my fly. Side 
and do the same. So when I tie them in in roughly the same spot, then they should be the same length because I stripped them. So the bit of white slapping that we tied in on top here is just helping to uh, form the shape, the sort of roof I suppose of the fly here at the front, give it a little bit of density which sometimes feathers can lack here at, at this end. So uh, once I'm happy with that in position, as I say my wraps are fairly tight here at the front, I'm just going to come back with them then. A little bit looser as I come towards the rear. I'm just going to change the angle of that stock down a little bit just to raise it up, stop it from falling. So, next, uh, this fly has half length black uh, feathers on the side. So I have a couple of those again, cut for length. I'm gonna play that up to the side. Check through the two, same length, and then and then jungle cock. So what I've done with the jungle cock here, jungle cock likes to rotate, is I've done the same as I did with the uh, with the feather as uh, for the wing. If you just get a little bit of varnish or a little bit of flue glue or glue or something like that there and just let it set just a mil or so into each side. So there's about two mil of that just uh, varnished and that will create a little plate as such and should, hopefully, I'm going to set it up sideways here to do this, should then when it goes on not want to rotate. side. Check the same length. Hold all in position. Bind it down. That's all the materials put on. So we'll just take our scissors and we'll trim off these Hold all back and I'm going to create 
create the shape for my head. I'm going to do the head in another part of a video. So uh, for now, that is uh, our Casablanca part of this video done. Uh, hopefully it's of some use to some people. Um, so, uh, as per usual, if you like what you see, give me a like, a subscribe, there should be a button to do that now. Uh, check out my other videos, tell your friends, bring them along, and uh, until next time. Tight lines, and um, thanks for watching.